Hey, welcome back to channel 719 for a follow-up video. Um, as you know, I've uh, done some videos on the CyberPower GUA 880, and tonight I'm going to show you how to do a small block. It's very easy. I've never done one myself until recently, so I'm going to go through how to do this. The program you're looking at is OC Tuner. Do not use this program to overclock. It's too unstable. It's not good to overclock in Windows. So the only reason I use it is to show you that the processor right now is running at 3.6 gigahertz. Okay, And I use this program to monitor the temperatures, as you can see there, or maybe you can see that. Okay. I did add an, add an extra fan to the top of the case, and I got another one on the way to Mar to keep it a little bit cooler when I'm overclocking it. But I'm going to show you real quick how to do it in the BIOS. It's not too difficult. What we're going to do is shut Windows down real quick here. And hopefully I get through this video without something going wrong, because usually something goes wrong. When I try to go in the BIOS, the button, I don't hit it right or something, and I'm booting into Windows. <laughs> So, hopefully we get it right this time, and I don't have to try and make another video. Okay, let it power off. And we're going to turn the power back on. And when you see the screen come up, to press F2 to enter BIOS. That's what you need to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It just depends on how you hit the button. Waiting for the splash screen. There it is. Press F2. And... Just like it did when I'm making a video. <laughs> Gosh, I hate when that happens. I'm gonna sit here and tap F2. If I wouldn't film it, if I wasn't filming this, it would work. Press F2, get me the BIOS, come on. There we go. <sighs> oh, well. Second time's a charm, I guess. Okay, as you can see, the processor speed right now is 3600 megahertz. And let's go to OC Tweaker. This is where you want to go. And this is the overclock tweaker. And we're going to scroll down here. And this is the only thing you need to do. It's the multiplier voltage change. Okay. So we're going to change this to manual. We're going to do a small overclock. Nothing real significant. But it will give you an extra point in your Windows experience. And it makes my games run a little bit better. Okay. We're going to go here. We're going to crank that up to 4,000 megahertz. There we go. Okay. And then you're going to go over here. And you're going to save changes. Now, if your BIOS happens to freeze up on something, sometimes they'll do that. All you need to do is just hit your reset button. Sometimes, I don't know why, it's just the board's weird. Okay, we're booting back up now. We're going to make sure that that change took place, okay? And I have a ba uh, BIOS password set up. Okay, see the processor speed now? 4,000, okay, cool. And it's just going to reboot. Like I said, this is a slight overclock. And while this is booting up, I'm going to show you the fan I added. It's right here on the top. Pop the case off. i still got to manage my cables. I've got another fan coming tomorrow, so... But I put that fan in the top there. So as you can see, there's... That's an exhaust fan. Taking the heat away. All right. Windows here. And I recommend you use a program like CPUID Hardware Monitor, or you can use the OC Tweaker to monitor it. And that keeps an eye on your temperatures. As you can see right now, not too shabby. Okay. 35 Celsius for the uh, main board and CPU is at 38 Celsius, 99 Fahrenheit. Okay? Now, 
Like I said, I do not use the AS Rock OC tuner to uh, overclock. You want to do your overclocks in your BIOS, okay? And let's see what frequency. Hey, there it is. Check it out. 4,008.42 megahertz. We're overclocking it just a little. And just to show you a little performance here. Like I said, I never overclocked a computer in my life. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, if you if you run a game like this, the temperatures are going to go up to around 50 Celsius, is what I've been getting, which is still reasonable. Um, when she's idle and you're just doing regular things, you're not going to see much difference. But Global Offensive Counter Strike's really processor savvy. It uses the CPU, so my stats are nothing to brag about for sure. Um, Let's see here. But anyway, um, it gets a little faster. And it's really cool to do. And it helps, you know, you learn how to tweak your computer a little bit. So if you want to do a minor, um, that's how it's done with the CyberPower GUA 880. Ah, this thing's got load here.